I'm Ellie from The Dark Imp. I'm going to show you how to play the card game Newmarket. Uh, just a little uh, heads up, Newmarket is a game largely of luck. There's a few choices you can make, but they're not strategic choices. They, the choices you make won't help you win the game. It's really down to luck. So with that in mind, uh, it might not be a game that everybody's interested in, but it is a really good one for families, particularly if you've got younger children in your family and you want to play something that everybody can compete on a level playing field. So to play New Market, you need a standard deck of 52 cards and you need an extra four cards from another deck. You're looking for a Jack, Queen, King and Ace in four different suits. It doesn't matter which suits the different numbers are in. Everybody needs 10 chips or cubes or coins or matchsticks, whatever you want to use, whatever you can find around the house or get from another game. And everybody's going to have a hand of cards dealt to them. But as you'll notice here, this is a game for four players, you're going to deal an extra hand to one player. So each round, one player gets the chance to have a dummy hand. So if this is the dealer, the player to the left of the dealer is going to be dealt two hands, so it's like there are five players at the table. Before anybody looks at their cards, everybody has to put in, uh, they have to bet to, to join in the round. So each player is going to put one in the middle, which is their ante, and one on a horse. Because yes, you've guessed it, Newmarket is a racing game of sorts. But that's where the theme comes from. So these are the four horses, the Ace of Spades, the King of Hearts. And so each player puts one in the middle and one on a horse. One in the middle. And they can choose. They can put it anywhere. They can put it on horses that other people have put it on. Or they could choose to put it on one that nobody else has put it on. There you go. And then they can look at their cards. So let's look at this player's cards. This is the first player. What you need to do is you need to sort your cards into runs of, well, in, into suits. So you need to make sure that the cards are shown consecutively in each suit. It doesn't matter if you do them ascending or descending. But as you can see here, I've got everything in suits. Now, if you have the dummy hand, you get to choose whether you want to keep this hand or whether you want to try the dummy hand. And to, and if you decide to exchange for the dummy hand, you can't go back to this hand. You can't look at the dummy hand and then say, oh, actually, no, I want that hand. So let's say this player actually is quite happy with this hand. And what they're looking for, what they're looking for really is horses in fact this isn't a very this isn't a great hand because it's got no horses in maybe this player will actually say do you know what oh i don't know maybe i'll keep it maybe the dummy hand isn't isn't as it isn't any better so i actually this player decides to keep it because one of the things you can do if you've got the dummy hand is you can offer it up to other people so you could say to this player over here do you want the dummy hand it has to go clockwise from your left and this player may choose to buy the dummy hand off you. Um, they get first shout if they want to buy the dummy hand. They've already looked at their hand. They don't think it's very good. They say, OK, I'll buy the dummy hand and you get an extra chip from them. So you might choose to do that. Or you might choose to look at the dummy hand, uh, to, to not look, to, to look at, to take the dummy hand and and on the basis that it might have one of the three horses that's got some money on. Uh, it did have a horse in it, this hand, but it had no money on. So it's not very interesting because what you want to do is you want to put out cards that have got the money on. OK, so uh, now everybody needs to sort their hands. And I'm going to play this face up for all four players so we can see what's going on. OK, so now every all the cards, the hands are sorted and we're ready to play. Starting with the person with the two of clubs, which is this player here. That player says two of clubs and puts it down in front of them. And it can just go just in front of that player. It doesn't need to go on a central pile or anything. Now the player with the three of clubs shouts out three of clubs and puts it down in front of them. So that's out. Remember these hands are usually in your actual hand, not shown to anybody. Um, it doesn't really matter. There are, as I said, there are very limited choices and we'll come to those in a minute. And so it keeps going like that. So the person with the four of clubs uh, puts it out. But as you can see, there's no four of clubs. It must be in this dummy hand. 
yeah there it is so that's a that's a blocker now when when you get to a blocker card the person who played the last card can now play their lowest red so we were on blacks they play their lowest red. Now, in this case, there's no choice at all. The lowest red is a diamond, three of diamonds. So they take that and they place, they, sh they say loud and clear, three of diamonds. And it's important that all the players announce what they're putting down because everybody's looking at their cards. They don't want to keep looking up at the different piles in front of each player. So say three of diamonds. Now, if this player had had the three of hearts, that's where a choice would come in. And that's why you might not want to have your cards out in front of you. So three of diamonds, four of diamonds, uh, five of diamonds. No six of diamonds on the table. So this now goes to lowest black, which is two of spades. And then you look for three of spades. Oh, it's here put them in the wrong order three of spades four of spades so this player's managed to put down several in one turn and then five of spades six of spades seven of spades oh we've got it on a roll nothing the eight of spades must be in here so now this player goes lowest red seven of hearts eight of hearts nine of hearts nothing no ten of hearts no so um now we go to who put the nine of hearts lowest black five of clubs and so it goes on i'll speed this little bit up jack of diamonds when they say jack of diamonds it's a horse but there's nothing on the horse now if there was something on this horse they would have been able to take it off the horse and keep it as part of their winnings. So now we're on lowest black for this person. They can choose whether they put down the king of uh, king of um, spades or the king of clubs. And in this case, they definitely want to put down the king of clubs for two reasons. First of all, they're going to get two cards out and get to play a third. Um, and the second reason, if they put the king of clubs down, someone who's got the ace will get the ace of clubs. So they're going to play the king, sorry, the king of spades. Then that horse will come out. So they're going to play the king of clubs, ace of clubs. And now because they have finished a suit and that's as high as you can go, they get to choose their lowest red and they've got two of the same value. So they can choose either one. Now, they might remember which have gone already and they're going to try and put down the two uh, of diamonds because they think that the three's gone already. Nobody's got the three. So then they can put this king down. That's their lowest black. And then this person gets to put the ace down and claim the money on the horse and play their lowest red. Play the queen, take the two on the horse that's the queen, and then the king's gone. So they get to play their lowest red and they're out. Now, if a player goes out, they've got no cards left in hand, they take what's in the middle. So this player did really well that time, actually took the, um, by taking the, the dummy hand, so this player should have taken the dummy hand, um, got this horse and the ante. Uh, so they got uh, six cubes or something like that, which is great. Um, everybody else, they don't get anything else. That's the end of that round. All the cards are gathered in. And then you're going to deal out for another round. The dummy hand moves to the next player. And this one that's on this horse, because the king of hearts never was played, stays there. So that's going to accumulate for the next round. So at the beginning of the next round, everybody's going to put more in maybe some people want to add to that horse or not so there you are you keep going until someone's out of chips uh or until you're bored so if someone's out of chips you can uh you can end the game or you can give them extra chips because of course this is a family game you can keep a note of uh of uh, that they've had a buy-in that they've managed to buy in with an extra 10 chips 
So there you have it. That's Newmarket. <laughs>